First Class provides you with many options when you are replying to a message. The default behavior is to not quote any of the sender's message. However, you can change this behavior to meet your own particular needs. But first, let's take a look at how the traditional First Class user would respond. With First Class, you can select a part of the message, and when you click on the Reply button, or use the Control or Command R keyboard shortcuts, just the text you selected will be quoted, along with the default tag indicating who wrote the text, and the cursor is placed below the quote. As indicated, the tagging and reply preferences can be modified to meet your own particular preferences. Open your preferences and click on the Messaging Initial Content tab. Here you see that you can change the cursor placement from the default, which is after quote, to before quote. For reply tagging, the default name only can be changed to name and timestamp. As a side note, this area also allows you to choose the tagging that will be applied to any forwarded message. Let's look at the changes we've applied now. Again, I will choose some of the text only and click on the reply button. And notice that the cursor is now above the quote and the tag includes the timestamp. I can see from the reply button that I have a wide variety of reply options to choose from which is particularly helpful if there are many users addressed in the message and you would only like to reply back to the sender or to the original author if the message has been forwarded. Back in the preferences now, let's look at the one last option and that is to use reply with quote for all reply types. This means that regardless of the reply option that you choose, the entire message will be quoted when you reply. Like this. The good news for traditional first class users, however, is that even with this option selected, you can still select text and when you reply, only the selected text will be quoted.